Cincinnati police say all aspects of the Kyle Plush case are under investigation, including the on-ground search, the information police did not have, and how the youth was pinned in the van. Well, quite frankly, we don't know uh, yet what the facts are. We have suspicions of what occurred. Prosecutor Joe Dieters told WLW radio host Bill Cunningham today. We are actively seeking an expert in this type of car so we understand exactly what happened, that he was pinned by that third bench seat against the rear hatch, and uh, he was literally um, upside down, stuck. One aspect of the case has been cleared up, the actions of Hamlin County Deputy Doug Allen, who was handling off-duty traffic detail when two Cincinnati officers arrived sent by 911 dispatch. He was on foot and assisted them by checking vehicles. But the fact is he never came across the victim's vehicle. The sheriff's chief deputy emphasizing the van Allen looked into was not the one the boy was in. The way it sounded that he walked away from it, and that just simply was not the case at all. Um, that particular deputy is pretty upset over this uh, entire incident, and he's taking it pretty hard as well. Police say how the teen's body was positioned in the van is based on what those who found him related. Hours after the 911 calls, his father discovered him, took him out of the van to try to revive him before first responders got there. Asked how long the investigation will take, Dieter stated, We move pretty quickly. I think in the next two or three weeks we'll be done with it. And Joe Dieter says he does not know yet if what happened was strictly accidental or if negligence of some sort could be involved, like Chief Elliot Isaac, though he believes there was a breakdown somewhere that led to Kyle Plush's death. Reporting live, Seven Hills, John London, WWT News 5. John, the dispatch operator claims that she couldn't hear him on that second call. If true, do we have any idea why she couldn't hear? Uh, we don't. Uh, we, we don't know, uh, Mike, if it is something that uh, she did at the, uh, at the screen that she was unable to hear or if it was some sort of technological problem, but that is something that in the investigation is looking at and those in charge of the 911 system as well. All right, John.